Hi, I just bought a new MacBook Air M1 and there's loads of videos out there but I wasn't satisfied and I thought I'll make up my mind by myself and make a short video about does Cubase work, which plugins do work and I'm gonna show you how I get along with the uh, MacBook Air and I hope you like it. So you already see Cubase running on it and first thing you have to do is buy one of these extensions here that I can attach USB and uh, the one question is, can I attach uh, um, different monitors? Of course, I have this one. It's running out of the box via the HDMI here. If you have a different one, probably you can use up four or up to six, I heard somewhere, uh, it's working. You need that because if you want to attach MIDI equipment like this one, there I attach the uh, Modi X directly to it, it's working. What about audio, external audio? Um, I checked some of these. I checked the Zoom U44, it's very mobile um, and no problem with that working. Uh, I also checked uh, the um, Focusrite 18i20, uh, even with ADAT here, was working. And in the end I checked the X32, it's working. So that, that probably there are no uh, bigger issues with um, attaching any audio, external audio to it, or like the Zoom here. Or whatever. Well, Logic Pro is running perfectly as long as you use the internal plugins, of course, uh, it's Mac. Uh, but as soon as I tried to use Isotope uh, plugins, uh, I really had some problems. And uh, under Rosetta, I believe Cubase is still running under Rosetta, there were no problems at all, <clears throat> with the exception of native instruments. But I'll tell you that and let's have a look how it's working, yes? Okay, friends, I started Cubase here. Before that, I installed SKI Remote by Steinberg to run this uh, remote Cubase thing up here via the iPad Pro 2020. I can do kind of the same as I can do with Logic Remote. There, it's uh, not necessary to install something before that it works right out of the box. Logic is working perfectly, but this is Cubase and the remote is also working. So let's have a look. Uh, everything is in place. Cubase started. It's starting very much faster than on my, on my uh, uh, Intel Core 9 with 64 gigabyte RAM here. I must say it's incredible how fast this works. And then I installed all these things and some worked and some did not. What worked? Uh, let's start with uh, all these uh, Arturia things here. The Arturia is really good. <laughs> You see, it's working. Uh, also, the Syncla Synclavier from Arturia is working. The whole V Collection 7 I have here is working, and it's working more stable. That's my impression than on the uh, the uh, Intel book here, because the, the Intel had some dropouts, especially when it comes to Fairlight and these things. Um, well, I'm very satisfied with that. It was no problem at all. Uh, I, I think it's running still under Rosetta, it's it's not on the M1, but maybe that's the reason why Cubase is uh, really working with that. Because in Logic I found that some things uh, I wanted to install, especially Isotope, um, i come to that later on, did not work that good. Here is Dune, um, also very nice synth, and it's a very small quality here. It's working, it's working, it's working perfectly. Yes. Uh, and next thing was Omnisphere. Does it work? Yes, it's working perfect. And uh, uh, they already wrote that it's adapted here to the M1. Well, you know that. Um, what about Isotope? Um, I had some problems with Isotope in Logic. Uh, I, I've thrown it out uh, because Logic didn't start and was scanning for it and it didn't work and it was on a blacklist and I had to deactivate it and that was kind of a hassle but here in Cubase it was no problem. Uh, like Break Tweaker uh, is in here. Um, I can put something in. Let's... Uh, um, here, here it is. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, it's working. So that's great. Um, and uh, as I told you, with Isotope I had some problems uh, with logic. Uh, 
uh, what about ozone? Uh, here's the sample. Also that, of course, in Cubase, everything works normal. And I got this very, it's very fluent. Yes, I don't have the feeling that something stops or you get this dropouts. Um, and uh, ozone, uh, I put in ozone, is working in here. It, di it didn't work uh, within logic. Uh, maybe, yeah, as, as I told you, maybe uh, it depends on Rosetta. But uh, Master Assistant is also working. Uh, I found all the Isotope plugins are working. What about Eventide? I got the black hole in here uh, and also have the Eventide H3000. It's, it's also working. What didn't work uh, was uh, Native Instruments Complete. I have the, the newest, uh, I think it's Complete 13, and tried to install it, but it didn't work, yes. Um, everything was was okay here, but but uh, um, native instruments not. And then I tried to install Helion Six, and Helion Six is, in my opinion, is also not ready yet. I no, don't know what's uh, with Absolute by Steinberg, uh, but for for now I got the feeling well, Cubase is running here. Uh, all the plugins are in here. You can have a look. Bukla Easel, Clavinet, Mellotron, the Mini. Uh, tried them all. Everything works. Uh, also pigments, you have to buy pigments uh, extra, I think. Uh, I, I can check it if it's working in here. First check. And uh, I, I, yeah, I got, always got this feeling, yes, check it. Once it's in the, here, it's working. And I'm really happy with that, uh, that it's uh, um, functioning. So what I also have is the BX console SSL 4000G by Plugin Alliance and also this works perfectly immediately you see it well it's working last question i had um well this is only half a day I, i'd only have this thing in, installed this uh, the installation is very very fast uh, and my question was can i also use melodyne via ara here and uh, yes uh, i have this hip-hop uh, thing in here let me loop it and start it with the remote and uh, ARA support, you see, it's working down here. I don't want to have an update, no. So I can go in. And within Cubase, I can use Melodyne. So also this is working. As you can see, uh, I'm very optimistic about, let's say, January, February, uh, everything might work. And also um, there might be uh, the VST Connect Pro I can work with and so very fast very reliable it's one terabyte is 16 gigabyte RAM it's a MacBook Air it's an M1 ARM processor silicon and I think it's a real revolution for me uh, no matter what people tell me out there for me this is a good feeling I will switch from this very good uh, Intel Core i9 um, with um, 64 gigabytes and the only thing is uh, I have uh, five terabytes in here uh, I built them in by myself and this one has only got five, uh, one terabyte but for that I can use uh, uh, like an external SSD drive the next thing I'm gonna do is East West uh, Hollywood and singers and choir library and Spitfire libraries for the contact and all these things uh, for that I might uh, uh, use this portable SSD here and that is is okay. I think most of us do this and don't spoil there or don't pay 500 bucks for extra for an, another two terabytes on the Mac. Uh, so that's it. Um, have fun out there and I believe uh, this is a big future and I take it with me. It's, it's very small and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay.